He was an American professional baseball player who became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball in modern era. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. The topic of discussion, Jackie Roosevelt Robinson. Just before I begin his story on this evening, take out a few moments and like and subscribe to Tyrone Bowman Tonight, right here on YouTube. Jackie Roosevelt Robinson was born on the 31st of January of 1919. Sadly, he passed away rather on the 24th of October of 1972. Robinson was an American professional baseball player who became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball in the modern era. Robinson broke the baseball cover line when he started at first base for the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 15, 1947. When the Dodgers signed Robinson, it heralded the end of racial segregation in professional baseball that had relegated black players to the Negro Leagues since the 1880s. Robinson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. Let's talk about Mr. Robinson here for a minute. Robinson, he, he batted with the right hand and he threw with the right hand. His professional debut, it took place in 1945 for the Kansas City Monarchs. That was the Cover Leagues. And he debuted in Major League Baseball, or MLB, on the 15th of April of 1947 for the Brooklyn Dodgers. His last appearance for the Brooklyn Dodgers was the Oct October 10th of 1956. And according to the MLB statistics, his batting average was point. 313 home runs, 141. Runs batted in 761. He played for the Negro Leagues with the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. Then he entered into the Major Leagues, the Brooklyn Dodgers, from 1947 to 1956. And Robinson's career highlights and awards, they are numerous, and I'll get to them later on in this story. During his 10-year MLB career, Robinson won the inaugural Rookie of the Year Award in 1947, was an All-Star for six consecutive seasons from 1949 to 1954, and won the National League Most Valuable Player Award in 1949, the first black player so honored. Robinson played in six World Series and contributed to the Dodgers 1955 World Series Championship. In 1997, MLB retired his uniform number 42 across all major league teams. He was the first professional athlete in any sport to be so honored. MLB also adopted a new annual tradition, Jackie Robinson Day, for the first time on April 15, 2004, on which every player on every team wears number 42. Don't forget to check out the movie, 42. Robinson's character, his use of nonviolence, and his talent challenged the traditional basis of segregation that had then marked many other aspects of American life. He influenced the culture of and contributed significantly to the civil rights movement. Robinson also was the first black television analyst in MLB and the first black vice president of a major American corporation, chock full of nuts. In the 1960s, Robinson helped establish the Freedom National Bank, an African-American-owned financial institution based in Harlem, New York. After his death in 1972, Robinson was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal and Presidential Medal of Freedom in recognition of his achievements on and off the field. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was born, as I stated, on January 31st, 1919 into a family of sharecroppers in Cairo, Georgia. He was the youngest of five children born to Molly McGriff and Jerry Robinson. Half the siblings, Edgar, Frank, Matthew, nicknamed Mac, and Willie May. 
His middle name was in honor of former president Theodore Roosevelt, who died 25 days before Robinson was born. After Robinson's father left the family in 1920, they moved to Pasadena, California. The extended Robinson family established itself on a residential plot containing two small houses at 121 Pepper Street in Pasadena. Robinson's mother worked various odd jobs to support the family. Growing up in relative poverty in an otherwise affluent community, Robinson and his minority friends were excluded from many recreational opportunities. As a result, Robinson joined a neighborhood gang, but his friend Carl Anderson persuaded him to abandon it. Thank you, Carl. In 1935, Robinson graduated from Washington Junior High School Kenyatta. and enrolled at John Muir High School, known as Muir Tech. Recognizing his athletic talents, Robinson's older brother was Mack himself an accomplished athlete and silver medalist at the 1936 Summer Olympics, and Frank also inspired Jackie to pursue his interest in sports. At Muir Tech, Robinson played several sports at the varsity level and lettered in four of them, football, basketball, track, and baseball. He played shortstop and catcher on the baseball team, quarterback on the football team, and guard on the basketball team. With the track and field squirrels, he won awards in the broad jump. He was also a member of the tennis team. In 1936, Robinson won the Junior Boys Singles Championship in the annual Pacific Coast Negro Tennis Tournament and earned a place on the Pomona Annual Basketball Tournament All-Star Team, which included future Hall of Famers Ted Williams and Bob Lemon. In late January 1937, the Pasadena Star News newspaper reported that Robinson, for two years, has been the outstanding athlete at Muir, starting in football, basketball, track, baseball, and tennis. At After Muir, Robinson attended Pasadena Junior College, where he continued his athletic career by participating in basketball, football, baseball, and track. On the football team, he played quarterback and safety. He was a shortstop and leadoff hitter for the baseball team. And he broke an American Junior College Board jump record held by his brother Mac with a jump of 25 feet, six and one half inches on May 7, 1938. As at Muir High School, most of Jackie's teammates were white. While playing football at PJC, Robinson suffered a fractured ankle, complications from which would eventually delay his deployment status while in the Army. In 1938, he was elected to the All Southland Junior College team for baseball and selected as the region's most valuable player, MVP. That year, Robinson was one of 10 students named to the school's Order of the Mast and Dagger or Omicron Mu Delta. Awarded to students performing outstanding service to the school and whose scholastic and citizenship record is worthy of recognition. Also, while at PJC, he was elected to the Launchers, or the Launchers, a student-run police organization responsible for controlling various school activities. An incident at PJC illustrated Robinson's impatience with authority figures. He perceived as racist, a character trait that would resurface repeatedly in his life. On January 25th, 1938, he was arrested after vocally disputing the detention of a black friend by police. Robinson received a two-year suspended sentence, but the incident, along with other rumored run-ins between Robinson and police, gave Robinson a reputation for combativeness in the face of racial antagonism. Ain't that a blip? While at PJC, he was motivated by a preacher the Reverend Carl Downs to attend church on a regular basis, and Downs became a confidant for Robinson, a Christian toward the end of his PJC tenure. Frank Robinson, to whom Robinson felt closest among his three brothers, was killed in a motorcycle accident. The event motivated Jackie to pursue his athletic career at the nearby University of California, Los Angeles, known as UCLA, where he would remain closer to Frank's family. 
I will continue the story of Jackie Roosevelt Robinson, trailblazer, racial record breaker, trendsetter. I'm Tyrone Bowman. Never surrender. Never quit.